peace, love, and beauty. Unleash the power of flowers at this year's flower show. Go with the flow and join 6ABC for a far out sneak peek. Watch floral designers compete for world's best and see the top six things to do from groovy DIY projects. Got a little this, little that. To Wolf Star. And now from the Pennsylvania Convention Center, here's the Action News Weather Team. Hello and welcome to the 2019 PHS Philadelphia Flower Show Preview Party. And the theme this year is Flower Power, yeah. the Power of Flowers. And this year's show is like an event within an event. The Flower Show is playing host to the FTD World Cup of Floral Design. At the end of this opening weekend, the world's best floral designers will be crowned right here. And the entrance garden where we're standing right here, it'll be center stage for the competition. This year's entrance garden is a show-stopping celebration of the power of flowers with a hanging meadow of 18,000 floral and grass stems suspended 25 feet in the air. The hanging meadow is just gorgeous. And it's one of the biggest entrance garden installations in PHS flower show history. 60 feet by 20 feet wide, all hanging over your head with these greenery hanging down and then all tipped out with all the flowers. Like an upside down meadow made entirely of cut and dried flowers. Ooh. Arranged by volunteers at Valley Forge Flowers in Wayne, in groovy shapes and bright, bold colors. Really inspired by the pop artists of the late 60s, Roy Lichtenstein, Andy Warhol. The butterflies then will be sort of buzzing around the whole meadow. Strands of ferns drip down from the meadow, and you'll enter under a canopy of tree-like vine sculptures. Very modern feel to it, sort of this twisted metal with the flowers all connected onto it, creating this canopy over the stage. The entire entrance garden is serving as center stage for the FTD World Cup. You are now welcome to start. Woo! 23 of the world's best floral designers are here. Each gets 200 square feet of space to create their masterpieces and a series of circular pods throughout the garden. I hope and you love what you're seeing. And with each round of competition, the entrance garden grows. Usually you walk in the show, it's completely finished. These designers, you're actually going to get to watch them design and create. That's really part of the show this year. <laughs> and what a show it is. And we have Sam Lemhenny here with us. And you're looking great in this tux. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank the you. colors you're going yeah. on. It's almost like a delic in a way. Absolutely. 60s, right? <laughs> right? Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And Sam, you've been lobbying for several years now to right. get the FTD World Cup here in Philadelphia at the show. Right. Why is that? Right, it's been five years that we've been working with FTD to get here. You know, this show is about the best and we want the best floral designers in the world. Why wouldn't the flower show be the backdrop for that? And we have 23 of the best designers in the world and this is so special. We're so excited to have them all here. And Sam, this really is a big deal. It's like the Olympics of floral really? design. So give us a sense of what visitors can expect to see if they come this weekend. Absolutely, you come this weekend, we have a parade of nations like the Olympics do. Everybody's waving their flags and they actually have people that follow them around. They have their little flags and they're waving around and having a fun time and they're cheering everybody on. And it's just really something special. These guys, literally, these are the best floral designers in the world right here in Philadelphia and we're so excited to have it here and very honored to have it you know it's this big event with this big event thrown on top of it right. and logistically it's been challenging but what a great success anybody who comes to the show the rest of the week will be here all right week just now and we'll know the world champion by Sunday night Wow Love thank it. you so much Absolutely. Sam. and, so and much. Here, here's a look at really what it takes to put together this head-to-head -head competition <laughs> That's That's the Competitors come from all over the world. This is my first time uh, actually in probably in the States. Bart Hassam's trip from Australia was the longest. As great as 24 hours on a plane can be. Laura Leong came from the United Kingdom. We've heard about the cheesesteaks and we're expecting great things. And U.S. contestant Katarina Stewart flew from San Francisco. I've never been to Philadelphia, so I'm excited. 23 competitors representing 23 countries have landed in Philadelphia for the most prestigious flower competition in the world. It is like the Olympics of floral design. They've packed bags and some other important items. Secret ingredients that are in hiding in the boxes. Bart brought his own bamboo. It seems to have been the most difficult thing to find in the States. But most of their materials were shipped ahead of time. Each competitor has about one or two crates. They either get flown in or shipped in. There are some ginormous crates with their props that they have built already. It was paid. <laughs> the crates went through customs, a holding center in Pottstown, then got delivered to the show where competitors opened the boxes for the first time on Wednesday. Those props have shipped a month ago and uh, they hopefully have arrived here. <laughs> We've had shipped um, 1,200 kilos of uh, raw steel from Australia. As they unloaded, new challenges arose. One side is 
perfectly beautiful and the other side is completely rusty. It's organized chaos over there. The competitors had two days to unload, organize and prepare for the competition. Having so many stellar people in one area is amazing. The competition includes three rounds. There is a 100 point judging system. An international contingent of jurors grade the work. It's the idea, the composition, how are the flowers used, and one big uh, criteria is the technique. The first round includes four designs, three the competitors already knew about, and one surprise. Which it is like the, you know, food reality show. It's in a closed box, you have no idea, they say start and you have to make this in 45 minutes. The World Cup challenges designers to compete in a creative outlet outside their normal routine. It's about finding materials, techniques that are new, that haven't been seen before, so the unexpected. I like the fact that I get to do exactly what I think is beautiful, but I don't like the fact that I'm pitted against somebody else. Competition generally, I think, stimulates creativity. It also drums up national pride. All of a sudden you feel very much Australian. It's a huge honour to represent your country. But only one of the 23 competitors will be named world champion. It's a pity that only one can win. World Cup is a career-defining competition. It's a little heavy on the shoulders. There won't be a single competitor who hasn't thought of that. Did someone ever from the USA win the car? I would be the first one. <laughs> The finals are in the ballroom here at the convention center, and it's a ticketed event. You can watch the whole thing live on 6abc.com. Yeah, we're live streaming the competition, and Alicia Vitarelli is co-hosting. And if you come during the week after the World Cup is over, there'll be monitors in the entrance garden replaying the entire competition. And all the competitors we talked to said they cannot wait to see the rest of the exhibit. They are huge fans, Karen, of all these designers here. Laurel Brook Gardens exhibit showcases the power of flowers to thrive in even the most unlikely environments. Greening projects can reclaim vacant lots, planting seeds of hope like the lowly dandelion that takes root and scatters its seed in the wind to blossom in the cracks between dead end and new beginning.